Welcome Chargeheads, Tim here, we're at the Chargeheads garage and we're with Ralph, we're here for an update on TVR Wedgie. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking so much better now the chassis is done and all the bits are back on it and it looks like the prop shaft is, uh, it's not connected yet but it's actually in the cage of uh, TVR chassis. Um, so yeah, I haven't had the update yet Ralph, but what's, what's going on, what's going on? Well, basically, we've put all the important bits in the right place now so that we can finalise all the uh, cable lengths. So we've right. got all the high voltage cables down there. There are, for various reasons, three high voltage cables that go to the rear box. Right. Um, which have got a route through the chassis and through there so they don't snug on any bo bodywork and they're not exposed to anything that might flick up from the road. Why are there three? Well, because we've split the battery pack. Um, it basically means that there is a third wire involved. So there's, there's an extra loop that goes through it, which we need for the charge controller. Right, so okay. Charging port's going to go in the filler flat, which is about there. Yes. And that's going to So go that'll be. La 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 la. Up to scale, yeah. yeah. Excellent. And that's going to um, connect to one of the cables on there, and the other one will go forward to over there. Excellent. So basically, the main negative cable comes out of the, foot, the front box. Yeah. And the main positive cable comes out of the back box. Right. And there's an interconnect between the two. So when we connect the charge controller, we've got to connect it to the negative and the positive. Right. So okay. We've got three wires going down there. It would be four wires if both, if we were only using that. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So. <laughs> So in here... Oh, you've got a couple of uh, contactors, right? So we've got the negative contactor, the positive contactor, and the pre-charge contactor. Yep. They all go in there. Battery management system goes up there. Yeah, the Onion Ooh. BMS 2, yep. Yeah, the, uh, the old Orion. That's the new one, Which number comes two. With, um, mm, mm. Which comes with a brilliant sticker on it. Yeah. It just says, stop. Which is basically what I should be doing on this build. Yeah, just, just stop. <laughs> just stop. And you got the you got the blue uh, uh, liquid uh, cooling yes. cables. There That's we go. Easy for you to <laughs> yes, the liquid cooling cables or hoses, possibly pipes. Pipes. We don't yeah. usually refer to them as cables. Um, are going on uh, with a little manifold. Nice. So there'll be a series of manifolds. There are three cooling plates on the bottom deck, two on the top deck. Okay. And uh, one, two, three, four on the front battery box. Well, based on all the battery technology coming out now, I think the range of this will be 400 uh, when I upgrade the batteries in about four years, Ralph. Come back and see you, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're thinking it'd be about 150 with the wind behind. Yeah, yeah, as long as you drive sensibly. Yeah, of course. You're not, you know, I can get good range out of Trikey now, I've upgraded her. Well, then it just goes to show, doesn't it? <laughs> we found a few interesting little snags along the way. Oh, I thought you'd found them all. Well, we, no, I mean, we, <laughs> we, we, we've solved a lot of snags. Oh, uh, okay. So, if I just push that back... Well, I'd, I'd rather we find them before we uh, start moving. A lovely little home for the charge controller. Ooh. So that's that. a little bit higher up than that, but that's roughly where it's going to go. Okay. Lovely. Um, I've got to put some shields around it so the cables are all protected and all the rest of it. Yep. These are the three phase cables from the inverter to the motor that came with the conversion oh kit no. that you got. Right. And they failed the, the isolation testing. So we had a look at them and there's a problem with the shielding. So that's not done properly. Um, so we're going to have to remake the cables. Not a big <sighs> deal. We make cables every day, so we'll just have to do those. Well, safety first. It's kind of weird the way the box just glues on, and then there's four bolts that hold it on onto the inverter. I'm right. Not, I'm not overly keen on that, but if it explodes, then we'll do something different. Okay. Uh, well, if you think it will definitely explode, and there's a high chance, maybe we should rectify prior. Maybe, maybe. But yeah. I'm, I'm sure those guys knew what they were doing. So, uh, yeah, it's just making uh, all the cables, hoses, duct work, um, making all those bits fit. Yeah. And then we can drop the body back on top of it. Excellent, yes. Yeah, it should... Uh, 
So it's going to go straight on and not, not too many cracking noises this time. Um, well, due to the unique way in which TVRs are made. Um, or remade or re engineered, as re my friend Vinny would say. Re engineered. Re engineered. Re engineered. Yeah. That's not right. <laughs> Um, then we've got to make a new uh, composite bit to make up for the big hole that we cut out of where the back seat used to be. Yes, that's right. And at the same, I need to do something about that bonnet with the nostrils. I haven't decided what yet, but... I think you should just paint the nostrils pink. Why pink? Why not? You got something against pink? No, well, I, I like pink. That's decision made. I'm not sure pink goes with blue though. So. It really doesn't, that's the point. Ah, uh, okay. It's a bit like the Rover, is it BRM or something like that? How like you used to have the orange bits on. Yes. That was Green awful. And orange. It was awful, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, I, you know, that's before we get started on head gaskets. Yeah. Although, you know, we've got the MG Roadster. Do you see that? Wow. You know, is what's going to be ready first, the uh, TVR Wedgie or the MG Roadster? I know which I'd put my money on. What would you put your money into? Too yes, much. MGs. Yeah, well, it's, it's going to be the first uh, convertible uh, EV. Or is it? Is the wedgie going to be the first convertible EV? Surely that can't be the first convertible EV. Well, um, other than... Uh, what about Tesla Roadsters? Sorry, I, I, have you seen one on the road? They theoretically exist. Yeah, but they're not like actually, you know... There must be some, some. I know there's one well, in space. Someone's, yeah, someone's making one out of a Tesla Model 3. Right. I forget the name of the person. It's on, uh, I think he's doing it on TikTok. It's absolutely right. amazing what he's doing. Obviously, it's in America because, you know, they're just doing whatever they want rather than... Uh, they're full of it. Indeed, indeed. But no, thank you for the update, Ralph. And um, is it still looking good for uh, end of this month, ready to be ready? Um, we're looking for having it ready for the summer. Su summer definitely for the summer indian summer i to specify where in the globe okay okay <laughs> excellent all right well and then when you're uh, next uh, putting the body on or got some another update for us yeah let us know so i can update myself and the rest of the charge heads because we're all gagging for it i thank you for having exactly just a quick note before I go, if you're going to go to the Fully Charged show down in Farnborough next week, um, I'm going to be there as well, going to try and get some uh, good footage of the EV conversions in the eclectic mix, uh, mainly head up by Felton uh, EV. Also, Jack from Silent Classics is going to be down there and a couple of other um, EV converters. Um, I'm going to be on the Vital EV stand the whole weekend, other than you know zipping off to maybe have a quick look around uh, when I can. Um, so yeah, if you see me, say hello. It'd be great to meet some fellow chargeheads uh, who support the show. So thank you, a show, a channel. Um, it is a show. It's a channel. It's whatever you want it to be. Um, but yeah, it'd be really, really good uh, for anyone to go down there because it's a really good show. Anything, uh, if you're interested in EVs, want to try out an EV, interested in EV conversions, home energy, which isn't you know. Uh, gas or uh, oil so like you know heat pumps solar loads of solar there chargers everything you can think of but if you like dc chargers businesses that like dc chargers come and check out the vital ev stand we've got some really uh cool stuff there if you want to have some dc fast charging uh, for your business anyway see you soon